Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. So I want to come on camera and talk to you guys. It's been a lot of crazy stuff going on the past few days. If you're following me on Instagram, I've just been trying to keep everybody up to date. You know what I'm saying? With a bunch of valuable information. And it's been hard, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes disinformation gets slipped in there. But I've been trying hard. If I find out that something's not true, I'm taking it down. But for the most part, everything I've been posting, there's been receipts and things to back it up, okay? So a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about the whole Waka Flocka situation. If you guys do not know, Waka Flocka, Mr. I'm So Woke, I'm Sleep, is, you know, he's literally been trending on social media for the past few days. So what went down is this. The other day, him and Tammy, they're out promoting their new show about them being married. At this point, he's more known for reality television than he is his music, okay? They were in L.A. and they were visiting Real 92.3, which is a radio station in L.A. And so they were asking him this. They were asking him, you know, his thoughts on the coronavirus. And foolishly, walk a flock of flame, he decides to tell the world that the coronavirus is basically fake. Black people and minorities, okay, can't get coronavirus. Really, nigga? Now, when I think of minorities, I think of not just blacks, but Asians. I think of Latinos. You know, anybody with, you know, melanin, with a little bit of color. You know, anything other than white. And last time I checked, uh, I don't know, like maybe thousands of people on the continent of Asia who happen to be minorities have passed away. So for him to say something as foolish as this made no sense whatsoever. Y'all go ahead and try out this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So coronavirus, <laughs> are we not worried about it at all? It's a, It's fake. You think it's an agenda? Yeah, I don't think minorities can't catch it. We sure. They say, say that one more time. Minorities can't catch it. Minorities can't catch coronavirus. coronavirus. Nah. Who Why do you that? say? Why do you believe Name that? Name one. I don't know, but it could <laughs> happen. <laughs> Name one, though. It could happen. Name one if of us. If it hasn't happened, it could happen. You know, we all like descended that. from the same person. I don't believe that. Now, we, I don't did know. we catch it? I'm, I'm just, I'm not trying to... Didn't that. it hit Atlanta recently? Yeah. No, it hit the people passing through our airport. Got it. Okay. It ain't touched them soul food, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't even like the word minority because I feel like, are we really the minority? Or... No, we're the majority it, Exactly, at this point. so that's what I'm saying. All right, so you guys just saw that clip and I love how, you know, he was so self-assured. Name one person. Name one black person. Name one minority who's caught it and not even 24 hours after that bullshit. We've all seen the issue that happened with Rudy Gobert, who was out there touching everything and, you know, basically spoke his corona into existence, honey. Now, he plays for the Utah Jazz, so he ended up getting coronavirus. And not only that, he also gave it to Donovan Mitchell, okay? Young black man playing for the Utah Jazz. He also has it. And as of today, there's another NBA player who's been diagnosed with the coronavirus as well. And that other player, he plays for the Detroit Pistons, and his name is Christian Wood. So that just came out today that he, too, has been diagnosed with, you know, corona. So Waka Flocka needs to sit down. This is why I'm glad I do my live streams. I'm glad I try to, you know, basically break through the disinformation, call out the bullshit. Anybody of any race, any gender, any sexual orientation, okay, regardless of your economic status, you can be afflicted with the coronavirus. The mayor of Florida has it. Uh, the, the the Canadian prime minister, his wife has it. A lot of people are not being affected with this illness. And the crazy thing is now, as we all know, a lot of things are shutting down around the country. So now that's not the only reason why Waka Flocka Flame <laughs> was in hot water. If you guys do not know, he also is upset about the Switch Challenge. So the Switch Challenge is a new viral challenge. It's all over TikTok where basically everybody named Mama Honey, celebrities included, they're dancing to Drake's song. And, you know, when they say switch, you got to switch your clothes and switch your mannerisms and all that stuff. And, you know, we've, we've noticed like a lot of guys are switching with girls and, you know, wearing dresses and things like that. And Waka Flocka is not here for it, okay? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few of these videos. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what Waka Flocka said on social media that pissed so many people off. Y'all go ahead and check this out.
Waka Flocka took to Instagram yesterday and he said, the flip the switch challenge make me realize a lot. Then he continues by saying this, never will I act or dress like a female, not for promo, not for comedy, and damn sure not for a fucking challenge. Where's the be a real man challenge? It's like being feminine is a wave. Please stay woke. And then he went on to hashtag what the flocka, hashtag waka flocka, flip the switch challenge. So that is what he had to say. So a lot of people were not feeling that. A lot of people felt like, you know, he is the embodiment of toxic masculinity. How dare he talk about this? Folks are just trying to have fun. They're trying to keep their mind off the coronavirus. You know, he's doing too much. So then after that went viral, his wife, Tammy Rivera, um, she decided to jump into his comments. And this is what she had to say to him. Check this out. So Tammy says, Waka, no one cares. Let people enjoy themselves. Damn. So you guys just saw what Tammy had to say. Basically, she chastised her husband in public. You know, I think people are just tired at this point in time of Waka Flocka and his, you know, uh, woke uh, movement because a lot of the stuff he's saying is just foolish. Now, we all get that there's certain agendas being pushed. You know, there's certain things being pushed. But I do feel like with this challenge, people just want to break from the monotony and they want something to take their minds off of, you know, uh, let's see, us being in a pandemic and not being able to leave the damn house. You know what I'm saying? And they're trying to find something to keep their sanity and if switching clothes and switching shoes and wigs and shit if that helps keep people sane keeps their hand washed and keeps them you know from spreading shit i'm all here for it okay now another black person just got diagnosed today with the coronavirus this is breaking news as of five minutes ago <gasps> actor adris elba tested positive for coronavirus Hey, uh, what's up, guys? So look, uh, this morning I, uh, I got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive. Yeah, and it sucks. Um, listen, I'm doing okay. Uh, Sabrina hasn't been tested and she's doing okay. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have any symptoms. Um, I got tested because I realized I was, um, exposed to someone who had also uh, tested positive. I found out last Friday that they were tested positive. I quarantined myself and got a test immediately uh, and got the results back today. Uh, look, this is serious, you know? Now's the time to really think about social distancing, washing your hands. Uh, beyond that, there are people out there who aren't showing symptoms and that can easily spread. So yes, Waka, minorities can and are getting the virus. This is very serious, okay? So we need to stop trying to minimize it and act like it's not a big deal. You know, so I just think it's really sad that he would even try to put that out there. And so many of his fans ran with the foolishness and, you know, swarping down. He was right and black folks can't get it. We have nothing to worry about. Meanwhile, black people are getting it. You know what I'm saying? And everybody in America has something to worry about. I've been talking about this coming, this pandemic Go back and watch my Corona videos, part one and two. We've been talking about it on, the, on this channel for the past two months before it ever really became mainstream news. Chinese government, um, in Wuhan, um, and because it's Chinese New Year, they let everybody just kind of like leave. And there are 56 cases um, that jumped over 24 hours, it was only 25 that's jumped up. We've had three deaths. They have blocked off Wuhan. People cannot leave. Five million people have left, but there are several million that are still there. The Americans are airlifting everybody out. The Australians are getting people out of Wuhan. I think the Indians, I think the South Koreans and the Japanese, this ain't no joke. There have been estimated amounts of up to 90,000 people who have this virus. Wow, that is so scary. And these are things that make the disease spread. So now we have to worry about it being in our digestive system, not the sneezing or the coughing that is emitted into the air. This is next level. And make sure you guys are protecting your families. Period, point blank. There's a pandemic going on and all of these governments try to, you know, keep it hush hush and, and basically minimize it. And now we're seeing the effects of that. When I spoke on everything about a week ago, oh, you know, oh, well, I don't know. It's not a big deal. Then what happened? Two days later, they basically said that it's an epidemic. They're shutting down travel to and from Asia and that the U.S. is taking it seriously. But people have been online talking about the coronavirus as early as late December. 
So there's a lot of things that they're hiding from the people. And all this predictive programming, y'all better wake up. Everything's not a conspiracy. So yes, anybody can get this virus and we all need to be careful, okay? So once again, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Waka Flocka Flame. Basically, you know, trending on social media this weekend. One, for saying that minorities couldn't get corona. Only for several high-profile minorities to catch the damn illness. And then on top of that, him being upset at the, you know, flip the switch challenge. How do you guys feel about that? Do you feel like he's the embodiment of toxic masculinity? Or do you feel like he's right and we need to have men not wearing dresses, you know, even for challenge so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning waka flocka last but not least make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and most importantly don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad let me know your thoughts on everything all right deuces